Habitat Women Build Week. And we, we were talking about this yesterday, Jacqueline. You were there yesterday to kind of help out with the fun. I was there, and so um, I was there helping out with some of the families, and I had a great time. It's hard work, but it's well worth it. Definitely. So that is Tracy Williams, and she's working on her brand new home. And there's me there helping. There you go. Out. You're wiping um, down those walls, man. Yeah, and Mount Healthy, with the help, of course, from Habitat for Humanity, and primarily all the volunteers were women mm -hmm. as well. There's about 80 of them from all across the tri-state. So this is an event that happens every year leading up to Mother's Day, and it's supposed to highlight some of the challenges that women homeowners face out there. So um, Tracy Williams is a single mom. She has two sons, um, and basically she, she grew up in Mount Healthy, and so she's mm -hmm. so excited. She was telling me that she can raise her two boys in the same school district that she went oh, to. Oh, that's great. Yeah, one's eight, one's two, um, and that's really not the only reason that she's excited to move into her new home. And we can do things in the privacy of our own homes and, you know, renovate if I want to, you know, the, the, the flexibility to do the things that I actually want to do as a homeowner. And my son, he's excited, of course, to have a new home and where we're investing in our future instead of renting. So something that's ours. <laughs> yeah, there you so, are. Yeah, so I was the MC of the event, but I think the most fun was being able to be alongside mm -hmm. Tracy. And I chatted with her a little bit. She was saying her oldest son, he's eight. He's a, a quarterback. He loves the Bengals, mm -hmm. and he's so excited to have his own room for the first time. They haven't seen the house yet, the two little kids. Aww. So um, she's going to show them, obviously, when it's all finished. But he's so excited, keeps asking about it. So we tackled a shed, painting, and then also doing some work along St. Clair, mm -hmm. where the uh, road is in a park nearby. So it's also expected to be finished by June. So. Uh, it's great also that the families are involved in building their own yes, house and that equity awesome. that they build. And just like being able to chat with them, they're just great, great people. So thank you again, everybody, for, uh, for Habitat it, yeah. for Humanity for letting me tag along. But